Kachari is a Sino-Tibetan language of the boro garosif group, spoken in Assam, India. With fewer than 60,000 speakers recorded in 1997, and the Assam 2001 census reporting a literacy rate of 81%, the Kachari language is currently ranked as threatened. Kachari is closely related to surrounding languages, including Tiwa, Raba, Hajong, Kochi and Mechi. While there are still living adult speakers, many of children are not learning Kachari as their primary language, instead being assimilated into the wider Assamese and Bengali-speaking communities. Some alternative names are Boro, Bara, Kachari, Plains Kachari and Hill Kachari. Geographic distribution. Kachari is spoken in 16 villages total in North Kachar Hills District, Assam, and Dimapur and Donsiri administrative circles of Koima District, Nagaland. Phonology Consonants Kachari consists of the 13 consonants shown below and three non-syllabics, frictional, H, frictionless palatal, Y, frictionless rounded velar, W. Vowels Prosody Tone Kachari is a tonal language, consisting of four tones high, mid, low and neutral, 1, 2, 3, 0. Grammar Syntax The word order of Kachari is subject-object-verb Kachari uses many instances of compound words to denote meaning. For example, the word for boy is really the combination of the Kachari words for male and child. This also correlates with Kachari verbs, which can be agglutinated to form compound verbs. While Kachari is not polysynthetic, its verbs act as a stem for descriptive adjective, adverbs or affixes to change its meaning. For example, the conjugation of the regular verb active, nu nu, to see results in the following tense Future tense As can be seen from the chart above, the future tense is indicated with gone, while C indicates that the future event will occur soon or in the near future. One example is by Fagan. He will come, as opposed to, by Fasigan. He will come, almost at once, or he is about to come. Present tense Present tense is shown through three affixes. You, dong, and go. The first two forms represent indefinite and definite forms and are far more common than go, which is frequently only used to answer questions in the affirmative. Adjectives. Most adjectives can be added both before or after the noun it is describing, though it gains the case ending if it follows the noun, rather than precedes it. This follows the identification of as a strongly suffixing language. However, this classification goes against Kanwa's description of Kachari and a related language, Karbi, as primarily prefixing to create adjectives. Numerical adjectives are always inserted after the noun it is describing. For example, 10 goats is Burma ma zu, with Burma meaning goat, ma being the classifier for animal, and the number 10 being zu. Morphology Gender common nouns such as father, mother, brother, or sister have distinct masculine and feminine words, while other nouns, including animals, will typically have the words for male and female, jela and ju respectively, added on as a suffix to denote gender. Other common masculine and feminine suffix forms that may be used include zala, zu, bunda, bundi, banda, bondi, fanta, fanti, and fara, fairy. Number system Kachari has a decimal system and counts to 10 with unique words, after which the number words combined to add to the larger number is shown in the chart below. References <laughs>